As our economy takes a hit from the COVID pandemic, understanding financial literacy is more important than ever, but it's often not taught in school. So now two high school students at American Heritage have started a charity in order to help. So joining me this morning, Gabriel Sun and Brendan Dedimore. Thank you so much. I was actually able to go back and watch your pitch this morning. You guys founded, it's called Money Buddies, and you're gonna tell us all about it. So welcome, thank you so much. First, let's kick things off. Tell us what Money Buddies is and who you're looking to help. Uh, Brendan, we'll start with you. Awesome. So Money Buddies is a program to help young kids, typically through third through eighth graders, and we're teaching them basic skills in financial literacy and money management. And we're teaching these workshops with our school's business club. So it's kids helping kids, really. It's That's fantastic. I don't know how many times, even in here, uh, my co and I, Mark, have said, wow, wish there were some of these things that you have to do as an adult. You learned when you were in school. And to do it so young is awesome. So I would imagine you had the similar ideas. Is that how you came up with Money Buddies? Yeah, so um, after Brendan and I joined our school's business club in 10th grade, we really realized how underprepared we'd been for all the financial responsibilities of adult life. And we realized that there's a very urgent need for financial literacy instruction among young Americans, especially in the underserved communities. So we're definitely trying to address that issue. And we've had so many winners of the philanthropy think tank on here. Um, tell us a little bit about how you got this f nearly $15,000 grant. You got 14500 bucks. So what does this mean for you and what are you going to do with the money? Yeah, so we're incredibly thankful to Philanthropy Tank for giving us the opportunity to turn our idea into an actual reality. Um, applying to Philanthropy Tank was a very rewarding experience. Um, the staff was supportive and it was an accessible process. We had to submit essays about our program and then um, we gave a live pitch in order to receive our grant. So we're really hoping to use the money to improve our workshops and make our lessons very fun. That's awesome. So how many students have you been able to, to reach or how many classes have you been able to teach? So currently we've held over 25 workshops and we've reached around 50 kids, uh, but we hope to increase that number by we're making a website in the making. So we're going to increase our impact. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to make both of you give us a holiday tip when it comes to New Year budgeting or perhaps budgeting, if we can, for the rest of the holiday season, since you guys seem to, to know your stuff. So um, give, us, give us some of these tips that we can, we can start to learn by. Yeah, so one of them tip is definitely to plan your gift-giving budget at the beginning of the year so that you know how much you can save each month in order to prepare for the holiday season. That's a good one. Okay, what's another one? I would say definitely uh, it's safer to overestimate your expenses rather than underestimate them. You don't want to get blindsided by an under, under expected bill. Uh, that is a good one. I, I think that the uh, takeaway is we may kind of be in trouble already for this year, but we can start as early as another week from now budgeting for 2021. So good advice. Thank you so much for doing this for our kids that are going to be in the school system at some point. So we really appreciate it. Really good ideas and great advice. Thank you and happy holidays to you. We appreciate it.